Hello my friends, I'm Lucas and you are watching Coldemons PL Open the Box series where I check the plastic stuff we use. Ok, today we will take a look at one of the last models from Border Model. We have here an early version of Tiger described as a participant in a Battle of Kursk. This is what we find in the box. Standard grey plastic, some photo etched and decals. The building instruction is quite clear, although in several places I had some doubts. There are a few bugs, but luckily they are explained on the ratum that comes with the kit. At the end we can find couple color plates with camo and markings and the name of the unit where a particular vehicle served. Let's look at the spruce. First the elements of the turret with some parts of the interior. Of course in very basic version, because this is not a model with full interior. Looking closely at the elements, I have to admit that their quality is impressive, at least at this stage, although there are points where some elements could look better, but in general they are very nice. The sprue with turrets, basket and gun mantlets offers several possibilities. This is a great solution and we will have elements that can be used in other Tiger projects. As you can see, the producer did his best and didn't spare on plastic. I like the texture of steel casting that you can clearly see here. The transparent frame is packed in a protective hard foil bag. The parts are nice and the plastic is clear. The main parts of the hull are pretty detailed. You can see weld lines and small parts. I'm impressed. It all looks nice. Two frames with wheels and parts of the engine compartment. Let's look at the wheels. They look surprisingly good with weld lines and bolts. We have very delicate manufacturer's inscription on the rubber rims, which will probably disappear under the layer of paint and mud in later stages. The drive wheels are also nicely made, but from the inside you will have to play a little bit with cleaning to put both halves evenly together. The interior of engine compartment can also be done, although it might as well be left if we don't want to build the open version. You won't be able to see anything through the net, so don't need to waste your time. Another sprue consists of the parts of the hull. Lots of elements, but contrary to appearances, they are built quickly. Engine hatch, towing cables, which will be turned into metal anyway, tools, drivers and radio operators, hatch covers, fenders, Everything is nicely cast and even the tools have nice clamps which I am not going to replace. In the next frame we have additional equipment with tarps which caught my attention in the beginning and they look very promising. I hope that I will be able to use them and that after painting their appearance will be natural. Plus boxes, jerry cans, helmets, a very useful frame and probably a lot of elements will be left for other projects. As for the trucks, they are pretty good, but I changed them to metal anyway. Here a bit of sanding will be necessary, but in general the links seem to be ok. There are multi-link pieces, which surprise me a bit if you have the option for workable chassis. But I think you can use them with no doubt. The decals are in standard quality and I will be using them for the vehicle from Das Reich, so I hope they will light down nicely. Some parts are on the photo etched plate. The first thing is grill nets. They are added, however, a bit far from the originals to put it mildly. The elements for the engine imitation fit nicely as well as the round cotter pins for the axis on the road wheels. The barbed wire to be put on the sides of the model looks interesting at first glance, but I think it's a bit overscaled. I can be wrong, it's only my opinion, so you need to check it out by yourself. The metal bar is another nice addition, unfortunately there is no metal muzzle brake, so you need to put a plastic one, or a version in a cover. Overall it looks cool and has good details. If we decide on the version with grenade launchers on the turret, it's worth using metal tubes. And finally the icing on the gate, which is surely meant to attract buyers. It's made of some light metal, of course, without Hakenkreuz. 
And now accessories I have collected to enrich my model. Metal trucks from fuel model, RB models, metal bar, Abers cleaning rods and side fenders, MJ miniatures, 3D clamps, towing cables from Eureka XXL, damaged road wheels from ET models and machine guns from master model. Now you can see how the effect of my work looks like. That's all for today my friends, see you next time, cheers!